Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omni Viewer, and welcome to Non-Moving Pictures, where we examine movie posters as art. Today, however, we're taking a bit of a side road to that. We're moving away from cinema, at least for this episode, and focusing on something connected to literature. I recently received a copy of God's Wrath Tournament of the Divine by William Carney in the mail. I literally just got this book, so I haven't had time to read it yet, but based on the conversations I've had with the author, I know that it takes heavy inspiration from various anime and manga, particularly when it comes to gender-flipping mythological characters and depicting shonen tournament arcs. Since the book literally just arrived in the mail, I haven't had time to read through it yet, so I can't really provide a proper review at the moment. That will come another day. Something I can talk about, however, are the art prints that also came with it, and which are also available for purchase. Carney wants to make God's Wrath a multimedia franchise, and this is one step towards that. So, how do these art prints hold up to scrutiny? We'll be starting with the book cover, of which a textless version was provided. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but right now we're judging it as a potential piece of wall art. The image was illustrated by Denny Roth, as are all of the illustrations within the book, and features our two lead characters, the Monkey King's son Wukong and her human caretaker Virgil Knight. No, I did not misspeak just then, Sun Wukong is one of the gender-flipped characters in the story. In Buddhist tradition, Sun is male, but here Sun is female. Just keep that in mind going forward. Anyway, the first thing that stands out to me about the cover is the sense of motion. The image is excellent at conveying movement, thanks to the perspective and combined trails of Sun's cloud and ponytail. You can easily imagine this image moving despite it being static. You can also easily discern a lot about the character's baseline personalities. Just from this image alone, I can tell that Sun is brimming with confidence, possibly to the point of cockiness, and she's got a daredevil sensibility. Her expression also conveys a sense of carefree fun as she zips through the air. This contrasts nicely with Virgil, who looks terrified as he clings for dear life to Sun's neck. Even taking into account that his reaction to this circumstance is not necessarily unique, anyone would react this way, we can still tell from his design that he's a bit more of a reserved, less than adventurous individual, basically Sun's polar opposite. Even the colors emphasize this, as Virgil's dark and muted color palette is very different from Sun's vibrant tones. Now bear in mind I'm saying all of that without having read the book, so conveying that much through a single image is quite an accomplishment on its own. And of course there is the juxtaposition of styles. You have Sun representing the clearly mythological soaring over a contemporary city, framed with a Dutch angle for dramatic effect. This gives us a good sense of the world that awaits within the book, one in which ancient myth and modernity coexist, though not always comfortably. In short, it's an eye-catching image, excellent for a book cover. As an art print, the absence of a title leaves a lot of negative space at the top, but the rest of the image is so good that I won't hold that against it. Then there are three prints of omake, or four coma comedy strips. Whatever you choose to call them, they're a little bit of bonus material meant to provide some levity. They do a little bit of insight into what the characters are like, but otherwise are just meant to stand on their own. And again, this is something you generally find in manga, anime, and light novels. Well, more so manga and light novels because it's print. You know what I'm talking about. I got the prints of three omake done by Admiral Haho, How, Hey Ho, Hey Ha. Uh, well, here's how it's spelled if you want to look it up for yourself. Again, there are three so far, done in black and white four coma style. I won't dwell too long on these, but I think they're worth mentioning because they appear very authentic. If I didn't know that this book was written by a Western author, I'd swear these were actual Japanese manga strips. The flow of the dialogue even goes from right to left, as it would in Japan. That's an impressive bit of detail right there. Rather than just adopt an anime-esque art style and call it a day, these go the extra mile. Even if you don't particularly like manga, you have to appreciate that. Up next, we have the pinups. Yes, pinups. That's something else that comes with the territory. Drawings of the female characters in cute and sexy outfits. If they're wearing outfits. Sometimes they're not, but you have to buy those ones under the table. Not that I would know. Let's just get to the pictures. These were done by the same artist as the omake. We've got one for Sun entitled Monkey Wrench, one for the character of L entitled L Razor, and one for Susana O entitled Booty Hunter. 
Incidentally, Susana O is another one of the gender-flipped characters. The book reinterprets this classically male deity as a booze-chugging, skirt-chasing lesbian because anime. Anyway, the pinups are meant to be eye candy, and I won't try to convince you that they aren't. However, each image is meant to reflect the character's dominant personality traits. For example, Monkey Wrench may go for the obvious pun, but it also emphasizes Sun's youthful energy and friendliness, while the mechanic aesthetic shows that she is a helpful and resourceful deity. L, who incidentally is not a deity, is shown in the kind of sexy devil costume you might find down that one-party city aisle come Halloween. This is meant to emphasize Elle's wicked tendencies, since, according to the authors, she's somewhat of a sadist towards the character of Virgil. Susana O's pinup, Booty Hunter, is... Well, it's kind of obvious, right? As I said, the character is the kind of aggressive lesbian you often see in ecchi anime, so she naturally has the most revealing outfit. Even the pirate theme carries a certain relevancy, since pirates are often romanticized as dashing lovers, and in real life were known to claim wenches for one purpose and one purpose only. So say what you want about pinups as an art form, but these ones take an extra step to inform us about the characters. Come to think of it, there was one more image of Susana O included in the set, done by Jaden Kaiba, and it DANG! Uh... Okay, okay, I can be professional about this. Um... The subtlety of the... Uh... And clear symbolism of... Her gigantic breasts, which represent... You know what? This one's just cheesecake through and through. Very well-drawn cheesecake, I want to be clear. The skill here is undeniable. About the only thing I can critique about it is how Susana O's head looks a bit too small compared to the rest of her, though maybe that's a matter of perspective. Beyond that, there's real artistry on display here. Even so, there are four reasons the image exists, and those reasons are boobs and thighs. Just remember, fellas, she's a lesbian, so she ain't interested. Like I said, I'll review the book once I've finished reading it. But I don't need to have read the book in order to appreciate its art. And indeed, the amount of effort that went into making that art feel as authentic as possible is quite impressive. Well, that's all I can say at the moment. Now I have a book to read. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off. Next time we'll get back into the realm of movie posters and do that one I teased at the end of the last episode. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe, then go down to the description to find links to follow us on DeviantArt, Patreon, and Twitter. While you're there, you'll also find the Amazon links for the original novels Operation Red Dragon, The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, and The Occult Mafia. Two books I think you'll really enjoy. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.